What's up guys? Today we're going to do my Briarfest haul for 2022. Now I apologize, it's a little late, but I live in Australia, so ponies take a little bit longer to get to me. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we're gonna start with the celebration horse. We all know and love him as Nicholas. He is actually a brand new mold that Briar introduced. I think he was sculpted by Bridget Ibel? I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly, but he's cute. I love his tail. I love his like position. The only thing I don't like is his mane. I don't know why, but I just get vintage vibes from this mane and I just don't really like it that much. So I haven't really decided whether I want to keep him or if I'm going to customize him, but we'll see. <laughs> the next model I got was a store special. My absolute favorite store special actually. <laughs> so this is Chardonnay. He is on the flesh mold. He has a really nice color. I love his color. Focus camera, come on. There we go. <laughs> his markings are actually so cool and they're chalky as well. Also, I love his tail. Like, look at that tail. There's so many colors in it. It's so cool. The next door special I got was Shabli. I used to pronounce it as Shabliss because I had no idea that the S was silent. So, uh. <laughs> This is Shabli. He's on the Eidicus mold. He's really, really nice. I got one with really nice dapples. They're like so soft. It's beautiful. I really wish they did the loose mane variation, but I'm just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it. <laughs> he is really cute though, so. He has only one flaw on his shoulder, but other than that, he's adorable. So, yeah. The next model is the Rhenish Draft. Now this guy was an online exclusive, so only people that were attending virtually could get this guy. And Briar, at the last minute, decided that they wanted to introduce a glossy split. So I think like 2,000 of these guys were done in gloss and they were shipped out randomly. And uh, if you checked out my unboxing video, <laughs> you guys would have seen how excited I was to get the glossy variation. I actually wanted the glossy variation more than the matte one because I knew that finding a matte would be so much easier than finding a gloss. So I was so psyched to get a glossy one. So he is really, really pretty. I love how the gloss brings out his color. It's insane. Wow, I just knocked it somewhere. Oh, there's another model there. <laughs> That freaks me out. Whenever I hear a model touch another model, I always flip. Next, we're gonna move on to the surprise model. Now, this guy was actually the surprise blind bag that they offered for virtual people. Virtual people? Yes, people attending on virtually. Anyways, um, <laughs> so um, yeah, this is the one of the surprises. And if you saw the unboxing video, you would have seen me almost cry when I unboxed this guy. I kind of suspected that it was going to be a surprise model, but I had no idea that I was going to pull a glossy variation of one. So, um, yeah, this is the glossy Leopard Appaloosa variation, and he is absolutely gorgeous in person. I love him. His speckles are literally insane. Moving on, um, I didn't actually get this guy for like from Briar directly. I actually got him secondhand from a friend of mine. Um, so this is Stein. I got a really, really dark variation and I love it. It is so gorgeous. For those who don't know, this is one of my favorite molds that Briar has made so far. So I absolutely had to get this guy, no matter what, I was willing to pay anything <laughs> to get him. And um, one of my friends had him for sale and I was just like, oh my God, yes, please let me take him from you. <laughs> And here he is. So um, yeah, this is Stein. He has a really nice color. I love his face marking. It's so cute. Like a little star and a snip. He has one sock. Oh, I just knocked another model. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> stressing. Um, and I love the colors in his mane and tail. They're so cool. Moving on, this is the model that's um, been touching these two. <laughs> so this is one of the Seven Arts surprises from last year. Yeah, this is the Roan that they did and I actually kind of really like this guy. So I did him as kind of like a partial trade with a friend and yeah, I'm really happy that I got him because he's actually so cool in person. I love his mane and tail. It is like the coolest color. I love it. Moving on, we have a couple of customs that I bought over Briar Fest. This guy um, is one of the Geronimo customs that I got. I say that because I did get a second one, but he came with bubble wrap damage and I almost cried when I saw that. So he's getting sent away to get repaired. So uh, hopefully he'll come back all nice and pretty again. 
Anyways, this guy was the other one that came with him, and um, I think he was painted by Fearless Thunder Briars. I'm pretty sure. He's not signed on his belly. I think he has a signature on... Never mind, he's not signed at all. Um, <laughs> so uh, this is Finn. He is done as a beautiful blue roan, and I love the detail. I love his speckles. They're so cool. Like, look at all those speckles. His hooves are super detailed. I don't know why the lighting is terrible today. But, um, yeah, he has super detailed hooves and I love it. His face is so adorable. And I love the little snip that he has on his nose. It's so cute. So, yeah, that's Finn. The next custom is actually an Idicus custom. She's a re-sculpt that was done by Audrey Dixon or Wild Horse Studio 16. I literally just posted a photo of her on Instagram and I love her. I literally think she's so photogenic. I love the color. I love the swishy tail. It is freaking adorable. And I just love how grumpy she looks. <laughs> Moving on. We have another custom. This one's actually one that I have been wanting for quite a while because when she first went up for sale, I unfortunately missed out. So she was painted by Sugar Sweet Studios on Instagram and <laughs> she's on the Roxy mold and she's done as a gorgeous buckskin Sabino kind of, I guess you could say it's, it's Sabino, right? That's Sabino, yeah. <laughs> I entered her as a Sabino in the live shows, so uh, I'm guessing she's Sabino. <laughs> But she is so pretty. She is super detailed. Her like markings are insane. She has gorgeous dapples all over her body. It's absolutely magnificent. And then of course all of her Sabino-like markings on her body are so nice. And I love her face. Her face is literally gorgeous. I'll flip her over. And I love this little spot that she has. It's so cool. All right, moving on. <laughs> we have a couple of just random purchases that I made over Briarfest. So um, <laughs> as you can see, I got my own Uko. So Disteria Studios, I think it's her name. There's her business card. Um, she actually offered more Ukos, which was amazing. And I, of course, jumped on the opportunity. I was so excited. I thought she wasn't gonna do any more, but she did. And I have no idea what color I'm gonna paint him. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe a dark Palomino, but we'll see, we'll see. I haven't even decided whether I wanna paint him myself or send him away, but yeah. So exciting. I'm really happy I got a new coat for myself. I'm totally not becoming obsessed with resins, by the way. <laughs> Next we have a little small purchase that I made. It was from Adriga Sky Studios. I believe that's how you say it. I apologize if I am butchering your name. But um, she is a really cool artist. She does like a lot of spirit art, which is really cool. And I decided to get one of her spirit medallions. And I'm working on a video, I promise. I'm working on a video to uh, get his process so I'm currently in the prepping stage of him and he's really really cool so I can't wait to paint him I think I'm gonna do him as the original spirit moving on now um, <laughs> the model isn't currently here because it's being shipped to an artist one of my good friends to be painted so I got a Ariana Le Fajord resin um, that was done well sculpted by Raven Maddock I got her for a really, really good price. The only thing is she didn't come with a stand, so I'm on the hunt for a stand. Hopefully Raven gets back to me and she has some spares. But um, I'm really excited that I managed to get one. She does have the interchangeable forelocks, which is really, really cool. And I got number 85 of 250. She came with a little butterfly sticker and of course some other stickers. <laughs> this is a cute little Fjord sticker with a butterfly on its nose, it's so cute. And I think it also came with a couple of other little stickers. So yeah, that's really, really cool. Okay, so moving on, we have two orders that I made during Briarfest. So we have an order from Infinity Briars, and I got some little accessories from Mr. Bobby's Woolies. So we're gonna start with the Infinity Briars order. Here is her business card, for those who are curious or haven't seen it before. It's really, really cool. And the first thing I got was this blanket set, and I love it. It is so adorable. Funny enough, it was actually the same model that was modeling this blanket on her website. She does have this model as well. He's really, really cute. But I just love this blanket. It's so cute. I love the little Chewbacca. 
and the little R2. Oh my god, they're so cute. It also came with a lead rope, of course, and then a halter, which really suits this guy. Next we have a little flower crown that I decided to get for one of my beans. She does really, really nice flower crowns. They're so pretty. Moving on, we have a sticker grab bag that I got. So I got four stickers, but she included a extra sticker, which was so nice of her. So I can't remember what these guys were modeled after. I know some of them were models or are models in her collection, but they are really, really cool. I also got an extra sticker. So this is the Plastic Ponies Obsessed sticker. I love it, it's so cute. And she also gave me some of her buttons that she released during Briarfest when she was there in person. So it's really nice that she included all of that. Moving on, we have the last thing in my haul, which was from Mr. Bobby's Woolies on Instagram. Or she's also known as Mr. Bobby's Models. I watch her YouTube channel and I follow her on Instagram. She's amazing. I love you, Amy. So I got two scarves from her. I got this gorgeous blue and yellow one for Okino. It looks so adorable on him. I literally love it. I do have an unboxing video for these two scarves, so make sure you go and check that out. And then the second scarf I got was this mint and brown scarf, and it looks so good on Alaska. Like, the colors just look fantastic on him. He's so adorable. She also included a little message that says, Happy Briarfest 2022. Thank you for your order. Love from Amy. And then she also included some little stickers, which was so cool. So I've got this little sticker. I think it's one of the SpongeBob characters. It's been a while since I've watched it, so I apologize. <laughs> and then she also gave me this little sheet of stickers, which is really, really cool. Okay, you guys, so that is my entire Briarfest haul for 2022. It's a little bit smaller than my previous years, but honestly, I think that's a good thing. So uh, yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends, and uh, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!